Yo, yo, Eddie here, founder at Cogsy. Um, and today I would love to put on my accounting hat. So for those that don't know, um, prior to building the first product that became WooThemes and WooCommerce back in the day, um, I studied accounting. It was my dad's dream for me to be a chartered accountant. Um, luckily skipped out on that path um, and did something way more fun, which is build software and build companies. Um, but that hat has always been one that I wear often in my businesses. So in this short little video here, I really want to talk about working capital um, and what that means for, for modern re retail brands. So when I think about working capital for modern retail brands, um, we have to acknowledge that the primary usage of working capital for retail brands is their inventory. And if you think about inventory, you think about staying in stock, one way of staying in stock is just making sure you buy loads of it, right? And you never run out of it. But having that working capital sit there um, means that there's an opportunity cost of not being able to use that capital for other things. And those other things generally are um, the ability to double down on marketing channels that are working, right? Meaning, able to be, i.e. being able to kind of you know, spend more in those channels. Um, spinning up a new initiative or channel, um, as an example. Um, doing new product development. Hiring kind of your extra bandwidth to augment what you're doing um, on, on the team side, or just having either this kind of safety margin in the business to weather a storm, or to kind of you know, jump on a you know, opportunity that pops along that wasn't planned. So for all of those reasons, it's really important to optimize your inventory and ultimately optimize your working capital to allow you to also at least consider these other avenues of growth. As I said, starts with a bit of a accounting kind of mindset there. Um, kind of using, using words like working capital, ooh, so smart. Um, but it really is about thinking, how do you kind of get your business and your brand the jet fuel that it needs to grow?